Hello, and welcome to a mama's life. Today, I'm going to be showing you my take on a burritable. What I did was use a recipe for a meatless Mexican rice casserole thingy my sugar. And I made it, and it was delicious. All my kids ate it all up like, like I had fed them. <laughs> That's kids. When they like something, they'll eat it, I guess. But anyway, I... <coughs> I don't know what to say. Other than I kind of tweaked it so that it has a little bit more spice. And... Just had a little bit more veg in it than just corn and just one kind of pepper. I like color in my meals. And yeah. So what you see me doing there was cutting up a red onion. And now I've been slicing up all my peppers into tiny little pieces so that they just, you know, saute down nice and good. Real nice and good. Makes them very tasty. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to say other than this is my very first voiceover. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Um, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I can do some more. It's just so much easier for me to do a voiceover than try and, you know talk and tell you what I'm doing while cooking because all five of my kids like to scream bloody murder. Yeah. I have three boys and two girls and holy Jesus. They are they they're good. But then on the days that they really get on each other's nerves, it is so much fun. I have like just a little under a month left before they go back to school, which is yes, awesome. I have almost all their school supplies ready so far. I'm just missing two things, but that's that's minor. That is so minor. Okay, back to the recipe here. What I'm doing now is sauteing up the onions in some olive oil. In my Dutch oven. I like to use my Dutch oven because just in case I need to put it in the oven or something. I could just take it straight from stove to oven because it's the only cooking utensil type of thing that I have that can do that. But anywho, I just put in some salt and some cayenne pepper and some taco seasoning for some spice. Supposed to add some green chilies and everything to it, but I don't. Mm, I don't know about green chilies. I just started getting into the spice just not just a few years ago. So, and you gotta scrape the bottom of that pot to get all the goodness off of it. Mm -mm -mm. This is like gonna be in a normal rotation for dinners because, nah, it wasn't that quick and easy, maybe an hour, but you know, if I actually followed the recipe properly and didn't, and used cooked rice instead of uncooked rice, it probably would have been a lot quicker, but you see, dealing with five kids, I misread the recipe twice, not once, but twice, and yeah, yeah, I... Oh, and in the background, you see me fighting with my drawer because apparently there is something stuck. I don't know what. I can't see what it is, but it's stuck. Thankfully, I was able to get my measuring cups out. And later, you're going to see me struggle to try and get the cheese grater, which is quite hilarious. Take yourself a good laugh there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm just looking at this and it's making me hungry all over again. I just finished devouring my bowl, because you're seeing this kind of in, like, real-time-ness, because this was 
I think tonight's dinner. <laughs> yeah, it was tonight's dinner. <laughs> um. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Slow motion stir. Watch it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know. This is kind of boring. You probably already have clicked out by now. But no. If you haven't. Awesome possum. You have. It was nice nice having you here with me. So I'd have somebody to talk to. Yeah. Sorry for the long pauses. I am trying to think of what to say on the fly here. I have no script, no nothing, just me talking, staring at my computer, watching me cook. Yeah. That's how that's going. Mm hmm And if you hear the sizzle or pop, it's just my soda stream, because I say thirsty. Yum. So does anyone of you guys have a soda stream? I love my soda stream. I've had it for over a year now. Oh, mm, I don't really drink any normal pop anymore. Well, I guess you could classify it as normal pop, but I don't drink pep, like, bottled pop from the store or anything. Rarely, I do. Mostly, I stick to my soda streams. Because, well, they're tasty and less sugar and all that sort of jazz. I try to eat healthy, for the most part. Eating healthy is just like, you know, a good thing to do. Ooh, I just got a notification. Sorry, this is going to be a fan plug here, but just, just, just put on a YouTube video. Whoop, whoop, guess what I'm watching later tonight. Oh, yeah. So, I have no idea what... I'm doing and why I'm just sitting there staring at a pot, bubbling, making me hungry, making me so hungry. Oh well. Oh well. But I think I can take care of that. But anywho, what are you guys all up to tonight? Up to anything good? Staying out of trouble? Getting into trouble? Hmm? Hmm. Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? And what do you guys like watching on YouTube? Give me some ideas on what to continue to post. Yeah, I'll be posting more food or cooking videos like this and grocery hauls with my kids go back to school because it, it just doesn't happen right now. I tried yesterday morning, but yeah, no, I had kids up my butt. And it was like, oh my lord. Like, ah. Oh. That's what my mom calls it. My yo yo. I've got myself a yo yo. Because they go upstairs, go play for a little bit, and then they come back down. See what I'm up to. And then they go back up, and they come back down. It's quite entertaining, but then it gets really annoying after a while. Don't get me wrong, though. I love my kids. I love my kids dearly. I love them with all my heart. But when mama's cooking, mama wants to cook in peace. You feel me? Well, I don't mind if they're playing and stomping around, you know, having a good old time upstairs in their domain, but, you know, I don't want anybody to come downstairs and bug the crap out of me when I am, you know, cooking, because then it just makes me end up screwing up on, well, my recipe, you see. Like, like, mm, I don't know. 
I've tried listening to music. I've tried having music in the background, but some of the kids in the house just prefer not to have music. It says it hurts their ears. But, you know, I think that's just kids being kids. Oh, this is so delicious. It is so making me want to eat some right now. Oh. Sorry. I, I just heard a noise. And if you hear a fan going in the background, I'm sorry. It is hella hot outside. And, yeah, mama needs to cool down. Yeah. But who's making a garden? I've got a little garden outside my house. Well, that's at my back door, anyway. I don't really have a yard living in a townhouse complex type of deal. But I made it work. I did a container raised bed type deal garden with con with like five gallon pails and uh, my hubby made me the a thing. It's pretty wicked. I actually kind of really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm very happy with it all. Can't wait to harvest some of my potatoes. Maybe to maybe tomorrow. I'll get some potatoes harvesting. Oh, yeah, you just seen the end result of it. <gasps> oh, now it's chicken time. Chicken. Who likes chicken? I love chicken. If I could, I'd probably eat chicken every day. But there's kids, that, there's people in this house that, you know, don't want to eat chicken or white meat every day. Because I'll eat pork and whatnot, but I'm not a big red meat fan. I'll eat hamburger and whatnot, but I don't really like to have steaks. Well, lately, well, since moving here and living with my hubs, I've started to eat steaks because he quite enjoys eating steaks. Well, he makes them very delicious. He makes me want more steak. But that's like completely off topic here. Yeah, I'm just slicing these into like bite-sized pieces because... I don't know about you, but I don't like to have a gigantic hunk of chicken or even any kind of meat in my food, you know? Like, even for some salads, I take the slices of meat and cut it into tiny bite-sized pieces, so it goes better with the salad. I know for aesthetic purposes and whatnot, the strips look cool and, you know, whatnot. What I did there was add some olive oil to the pan and now I'm gonna be frying it up fry 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 yeah <coughs> so do you guys have any plans for the rest of the evening or gents or day whatever day time it is for you or weekend Whenever you're watching it, well, you know, if you're like me, you just watch videos whenever you can. I mostly fall asleep to true crime videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm one of them. I love me some good true crime. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite true crime YouTuber? Let me know. Come on. So, yay, the video is almost done. We're over halfway there. Woohoo! I mean, aww. Voiceover is almost done. That's okay. I don't mind. No, I don't. I'm having a lot of fun, actually. So much fun doing the shit. Ah. Uh, I can't wait to keep doing more videos because come September, I'm going to be fucked. Sorry for the language. Body mouth. Bad mom. Anywho. Come September, I'm just going to be trying to get out at least three videos a week. I want to kind of do like, you know, I want to do at least one grocery haul a week. Maybe a cooking video. And possibly my planner spread video. And maybe I'll throw in some cooking. Or some cleaning. Because I need to get my house in order. Once all the kids, I mean, 
All five kids are going to school this year. Hallelujah. Oh, it is about time. About time. But anywho, what I added to the chicken there, as you can see, was some um, cayenne pepper, garlic salt, and onion powder to give it a little bit of a zip. Mmm. Tasted really good, actually. I'm going to do that again for my chicken. Maybe add a squirt of le lemon to it or something to add it a little. Mm -hmm. As, you know, that citrus, citrus aspect of it. Yeah. And what I did there is you see me just take it off the screen a little bit. My son was asking what it, what smells so spicy. So I pulled it over off the hot stove and kind of closer to where he is so he can kind of smell it and see what I was cooking. Because he's very intrigued on what I do in the kitchen. He quite enjoys my cooking. That's my young, my, well, second youngest kid in the house, I think. Don't quote me on that. I have a really hard time trying to remember. <laughs> oh, but what do you do when you live in a shoe? Ba -ba -da. Oh, so now you're gonna see me add some good old yummy cheddar or marble cheese. I don't like old, just normal cheddar. Mm -mm. Or manta. Mm -mm. Give me good old marble. I will use marble on everything. Yep, I am just a simple gal. Yep, yep, yep. What do you use on your burrito bowls? I love chicken and corn and. Oh, it's a little bit of tomatoes and lettuce and some cheese. But anyway, the video is almost done. I hope you guys had a great time watching, and thank you for sticking around. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, friends.